Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to sublimate on the 100% polyester sequin pillow from the Dollar Tree. So I have my image up here and I'm going to go to file and print. It is different if you have a MacBook or a Windows. I have a Mac. So what I'm going to do is I am going to landscape it so I can see the image myself. I am going to scale it smaller. I kind of eyeball this to where I have a couple of inches on the sides and like about half inch on the other on the top and bottom and I'm going to flip it horizontally because we need it mirrored technically um, then I'm going to change the quality to best so I get the best image and everything else I leave the default settings I use this sublimation paper from Amazon I'm going to be loading my paper in to my Epson 2720 and I use the letter size permanent matte settings on my printer. This next clip is the printer printing the image. It does take quite a while because it is a full, mostly full page print. Now when you do sublimate on these pillows, you need to make sure the color you want to sublimate on is all the way down. Um, you'll see that here, me doing all of that and you need every single gold down or whatever color. So you want the white showing or the silver um, because it won't print on that necessarily so much. Now my next step is cutting off the excess um, paper that you don't need. You don't want the extra lines on and it'll be easier to help line it up on the pillow to turn on my heat press for 400 degrees at 60 seconds. I forgot to film my next part, but what I do when my heat press is on and it's a little hot, I like to press down on the pillow first to make sure everything's even and flat, um, all the sequin. And then I put my image on, um, line it up, and use heat tape. I got the tape dispenser and the tape from Amazon. You press down on the pillow. I use light pressure because it is so thick. Once the 60 seconds are up, I do take it out of the heat press. The first thing I do is remove the image. You don't want all the excess ink, if there is any, to re-go on there somewhere or make it look funky. So here's the final image. It does seem a little smoky because it is hot, but I promise you it's not melted or anything like that. And here is the final image. I am so in love with this project. These are so perfect for Valentine's Day coming up. A picture of you and your loved one or whatsoever. But here's me playing with it, making sure that it all works. Um, having the gold side up and then um, here in a second I will be redoing it, showing the image I mean. Um, but you can see you can't really see it through the gold. And on the back you can add a little detail if you'd like because it is 100% polyester.